wanted to work a little bit today on using your TI Inspire Cast CX or your TI Inspire Cast to find derivatives at a point. So um, the first one is actually a second derivative in the question for us. Our challenge is to find f double prime at 3 if f of x equals ln of x. So this is liable to show up on the AP Calc AB exam in the multiple choice section where you're allowed to use your calculator. So if you don't mind, let's get to that a little bit and, and let me show you how I would do it. So it's really pretty easy, I think. So I'm in the calculator section. I'm in the calculator section of your calculator. And what I would have you do is this. So what you're going to do is hit menu. And when you get that, you'll see. Hold on a second. I didn't insert it. Sorry, calculator. So go to calculus, press menu, get to calculus. And then this is important, not derivative, because they're asking you for derivative at a point. So derivative at a point here, the variable is x in our function. The variable, uh, I'm sorry, the value is 3. And remember that we said we wanted the sec I asked for f double prime, so it's the second derivative. And then just hit OK there, and then it's going to give you the rest. And you can see that it is taking f double prime here and it's it's evaluating it at x equals 3 and our function was ln of x you can do that two ways you can hit control here and then hit this button or your calculator will recognize you typing in ln either way it's important that you open the parentheses and put in the variable here and just hit enter and there it is now that might seem really really easy but it would be very time consuming to try to figure that out on the AP exam so what I would be doing if I were you right now is probably making some notes to myself and then just practicing this a bunch of times. And if you get confused, come back and try it again. So let's do another question. And that question is this one. Um, find the slope of the line tangent. So find f prime. Oh, and they, wanted, they want f prime at pi halves. And this is a little bit interesting. Given that f of x is equal to sine x over x. All right, so here's our challenge here is to find this first derivative at this given point. So again, same thing as before. I'm going to go to the menu here. I'm going to see this. I'm going to go to calculus again. Remember, it's derivative at a point. This is an f, an f of x function, and we wanted that derivative at pi halves. So there's lots of ways to do that, uh, one of which is to spell the word pi divided by 2. And your calculator does recognize that as pi halves. Okay, so it's at pi halves. And then open up your calculator. And remember what that function looked like. So if you hit control division, see how it breaks it up into a rational for you? And it was sine x, wasn't it? So remember S I N. I know you know that part, but it's important here that you open parentheses and close them here, and then over x. I'm checking now something really quickly that I am taking the first derivative that I have my function incorrectly and that I'm set, evaluating it at this given point, and we are, and just hitting enter, and there's your answer. Now, if you were taking the multiple choice exam and this was not a possible solution, then what you could do is you could go to control, and if you hit enter again, there's the approximate numeric value, and if you look over this enter sign right here, you'll see the approximation key in blue up there. So, all right, let's, uh, let's just do one more, okay? do one more. Uh, here's this one. Let's evaluate the derivative of this. So let's evaluate. So let, let f of x equal x plus e to the 2x power. Now I know that this is a differentiable function and you could differentiate this by hand. It wouldn't take too long and they want to know, they want this at x equals 0. So they want f prime at 0. So again, Easy, same steps. Going to go here. We are on a line. So you hit menu. When you hit menu, it pulls down this screen. Calculus, go to de derivative at a point again. Variable is x. The value that we are interested in is 0. We want the first derivative, so all good. And then we're going to type in that function inside the parentheses. And that function happened to have been x plus. This is important also that you don't hit e here because there's an e key, key right there. You can e, and it says it's to the 2x power, so the, to the 2x power, right? And hit enter. 
and the answer there is three. All right, I hope this was helpful. I know that uh, it's kind of redundant, but this is how you're gonna do this. And the way you're really gonna do well on that AP exam is to not be trying to figure out your calculator during the exam. So this kind of practice is really gonna pay off and it's gonna give you uh, increased time and hopefully increased certainty. So good luck.